As China scales production of humanoid robots, its scientists are now extending the technology into the most intimate frontier of human life. A new arms race is underway, not for military might, but for the very process of creation. Guangzhou-based Kaiwa Technology has announced it's developing the world's first humanoid robot capable of carrying a human pregnancy using an artificial womb. While robots birthing babies might seem extreme, the foundational technology has been advancing rapidly for years. And the Chinese government has shown willingness in the past to engineer reproduction through radical means. A major policy shift was announced in China today. Families there will now be able to have more than one child. Its infamous one child per family policy, which ran from 1979 to 2015, helped create the demographic crisis the People's Republic is now desperate to reverse, perhaps with robotics. Kawai claims the technology is already mature in lab settings and could be ready for real-world testing by next year. The project aims to address China's rising infertility rate, which spiked from 7.5% in 2007 to more than 18% in 2020, meaning nearly one in five couples struggle to conceive. Underpopulation is one of China's top concerns for the future. The country's population peaked in 2022 at about 1.4 billion, then began to shrink for the first time in six decades. According to UN projections, the Chinese population could drop by nearly half to 800 million by the year 2100. Fewer young workers could worsen labor shortages in manufacturing and services, threatening China's role as the world's factory. The shrinking young workforce must also support a growing elderly population in one of the oldest countries. By 2050, around one-third of Chinese citizens will be older than 60. Its aging population is one of the main reasons China is aggressively advancing its next-generation AI and robotics technologies for elder care, medical procedures, and social services. Zhang Kefeng, known as Dr. Zhang in Chinese media, founded Kaiwa Technology in November 2015 in the tech hub of Guangzhou in the Guangdong province. The founder and CEO has a PhD from Singapore's Nanyang Technological University and did his undergraduate studies in China at the Beijing Technological University. According to reports, Zhang's team launched over 20 in-house robot models and more than 40 variants for service applications, including its flagship greeting humanoid robot. The serial entrepreneur is also linked to helicopter and drone technology companies in Shenzhen. His latest venture, however, has garnered the most attention. In August 2025, Kaiwa announced plans for what it calls the world's first humanoid gestation robot. It's essentially a robot surrogate mother equipped with an artificial womb. The idea is divisive. Supporters argue artificial wombs could reduce risks for women and liberate them from the physical burdens of pregnancy. Critics say the technology is unethical because it deprives the fetus of a natural maternal connection and could commodify motherhood. Others doubt that artificial wombs can replicate complex biological processes like maternal hormone signaling. Zhang unveiled the concept during the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing, which featured more than 500 exhibits and 100 new product debuts, as well as the grand opening of the Chinese capital city's robot superstore. Described as a female presenting humanoid, the robot stands about 165 centimeters or 5 feet 4 inches and is designed to carry a fetus through a full 10-month gestation and give birth. The robotic birthing person concept builds on prior experiments like the biobag at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia in 2017, which kept lambs alive for weeks in fluid-filled, simulated uterus environments. Labs working on artificial womb tech are mostly focused on saving premature babies, not starting pregnancies from conception. To date, no experiment has ever taken a fertilized human embryo all the way to full term in an artificial environment, or even in animals. So Dr. Zhang's goals are in uncharted territory and would require significant advances beyond current science. Unlike traditional incubators or surrogate pregnancies, which handle only parts of the process, 
the system aims to replicate the entire pregnancy process from conception to childbirth. According to Chinese state media, Zhang's team has been collaborating with the Shenzhen Institute of Advanced Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences to develop vascularized endometrial tissue. The robot's abdomen contains a so-called bioreactor incubator pod that acts as an artificial uterus. The pod is filled with artificial amniotic fluid, maintained at human body temperature of around 37 degrees Celsius to mimic the environment of a natural womb. The unborn child would receive nutrients and oxygen through an umbilical cord-like tube attached to the artificial placenta. An AI-controlled system would pump in required nutrients and remove waste. The robot's AI brain would sense its movements and even externally simulate a baby bump as the fetus develops. In interviews, Zhang has said he's held discussions with government authorities in Guangdong province regarding policy and legislation regulating the technology. Guangdong is China's most populous and economically powerful province. Shenzhen is also one of its major cities, which is next to Hong Kong and often called the Chinese Silicon Valley. China currently has no specific laws addressing artificial wombs, though commercial surrogacy is illegal due to ethical and social concerns. A robotic surrogate falls into an unregulated gray area with many unanswered questions. But why the humanoid form factor? Zhang says that unlike a static lab incubator, a synthetic human could provide psychological comfort to parents-to-be. Critics call it a gimmick, saying the humanoid design only adds complexity to the concept. According to reports, Kaiwai Technology is aiming for a price point under 100,000 yuan, or between 13 and 14,000 dollars. They're developing a prototype that Jiang says should be ready by the 2026 World Robot Conference next August in Beijing. The 2025 World Robot Conference featured more than 500 exhibits from around 200 Chinese and international AI and robotics firms. For a rundown of the next generation machines introduced during the latest spectacle, check the related video.